so many fun music beds on this show now. Sorry, I'm just dancing because I love that. Okay, so it's time for our pet of the week, and today we have our friends from the Front Street Animal Shelter joining us once again. But first, though, we have to introduce these two adorable pups. Who do we have here? So we have George and Martha. They are about two months old. These guys came into us as strays a few weeks ago, <gasps> and they've been living in a foster home, and they're actually going to be going up for adoption on July 7th, so next Friday. They're almost old enough. Okay, so July 7th, mark your calendars for these two adorable pups. Now, what type of blend do you think these guys are? It's always a guesstimate because they don't come in with their parents, but we're assuming they're probably some sort of border collie wire hair terrier. Mm -hmm. They're incredibly adorable, super sweet, and we're thinking they'll probably be anywhere from 25 to 35 pounds. Okay, so we got George and Martha. They've been extremely well behaved, especially for puppies right here in the studio. I'm um, just whining just a little because they want to snug and love people and loving the attention. Uh, great, beautiful pups, and we know they're not going to last long, right? Oh, they're going to go quick. Yeah, so if you really want a brand new family member, George or Martha, make sure you get in line. Call right now. Go, because these puppies are not going to last long. Look at how cute is that? How can you resist that? Okay, and, you know, decorated for the 4th of July, which is just around the corner, but this is a really super busy time right now for the shelter, isn't it? It is. It's, it's a festive time for our community, and most people are very excited to celebrate, but our pets don't know that we're celebrating, mm -hmm. and when those fireworks start going off, pets end up in our shelters. Yeah, okay, and people are celebrating early. I think a lot of pet owners really just plan for the day of. They just think of the 4th of July and what they're going to do to keep their pets safe then, but they fail to realize a lot of people around them are celebrating. And even when we can't hear, um, myself last night in my home with my own dog, uh, apparently there were fireworks, you know, being ignited a little further away that I couldn't hear. And my dog was acting up and I'm like, what's going on? And I went out in the backyard and I was like, oh, I hear fireworks far away, but it was enough to disturb my dog inside, though I couldn't hear it. Right. And that's enough to spook a pet to make him run, right? Absolutely. It, it's a festive time, and people get started early with the celebrations. Last year, during the week of 4th of July, our one shelter took in over 260 animals. No kidding. So, And you told me just last night, too, you guys have a number of pets already coming in. Just yesterday at our shelter, we took in 57, all of wow. which came in with no identification. So that's really important conversation. No piece. identification, no way. Okay, so then give some advice to our viewers then to make sure that one of their fa their furry family members doesn't end up being one of those numbers. So what we encourage, obviously you want to keep your pets indoors during the holidays, make sure you're able to keep an eye on them. Uh, but the most important thing is make sure your pets do have identification on them. Mm -hmm. So make sure that they have an ID tag, make sure that they're microchip because although a dog may be able to get out of their collar, that microchip is going to be permanent identification. Mm -hmm. You can actually come down to Front Street. You can get an ID tag from us free of charge, so there's no excuses, and we'll microchip your pet for just $5. Just $5? Mm -hmm. No way. That's um, unbelievably affordable, and there's no reason to not do that. For those who are not familiar, though, Bobby, explain to them exactly what is a microchip and how does it work, because I do know some pet owners are like, oh, I don't know. It sounds so invasive, and I'm really worried about my, my pet's comfort level with something like that. Absolutely. So uh, a microchip is um, a form of identification that goes under the scruff of their skin. Mm -hmm. uh, it is, you know, people assume it's invasive. It's pretty much a vaccine. And so it's a one-time thing. It's not like your pet has to stay for a surgery. Uh, once you implant the chip, we will update the microchip information with your owner information. And then because it's a digital age, you'll go home with that number. And if you ever move, have a change of phone number, you can update all of that online free of charge. And there's also no annual cost to that. Oh, great. Okay. And I know that that's also been a question of some uh, pet owners is once I have that information, you know, embedded in my pet, can I change it? But you can. Yeah, so it's just mm -hmm. an identification number and that's attached to a company. And so we call when a pet comes in with that number and that company will have all of your updated information. That's great. Very, very good to know. Okay, so one more time, where can people go so they can meet George and Martha and also many other pets like George and Martha to take them home, but also to make sure that they have their current pet safe for the 4th of July. So the Front Street Shelter is located at 2127 Front Street. We're normally open Wednesday through Sunday from noon to five. These guys are gonna be available on July 7th, so please check our website at frontstreetshelter.org for details on them. Okay, and before we wrap though, I have to tell everybody that Simone and Pumbaa, who you saw on here just about a week ago, they have a home. They have a home. Yay! So it was actually um, a viewer's family that saw it on air, sent it to one of their friends, and a family drove all the way from San Diego Diego to adopt them. How awesome. Yeah. All right. And I think San Diego is a perfect place for those two uh, beautiful pups to be. And these two pups, perfect place to be would be your home. So make sure you check them out. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us today here on Sack & Co. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 1130 as we bring value home. Bye-bye. Bye. Say bye, puppy.